Bulls before we have to head down for our awards ceremony. And Don, the night started on a good note for the Warriors on a good glove save by Justin Katz on a Dylan Crayer opportunity. A couple of other good looks for the Warriors on a flip play by Land and Hilditz just up and over the goal. That made the game, well at that point, still a 0-0 game, which is where we stood after a period, but Justin Katz was outstanding tonight, Don, especially in the opening period. Yes, he really was, and uh, Power River came to play, uh, and uh, as the final score indicates, but uh, he, 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 he stood on his, uh, he, I don't say stand, he stood on his head, but he's very solid. Rourke Appleby also solid in his own right as well. But the Warriors kept pressuring throughout two period, throughout the opening period. They just couldn't find a way to get past Justin Katz. And uh, the Warriors continued to press and then finally broke through. And it's Dylan Crayer with his first BC Hockey League goal. I just want to mention that the Warriors are all over uh, mobbing Justin Katz there. Uh, that's, uh, that, that's very good to see. I, I, I really appreciate that. Uh, everybody's coming around to talk to Katzy. Yeah, that's a nice thing to see. Katz getting congratulated and hugged by the Warriors here in this game. But it was Crayer that opened the scoring in this one for the Warriors to make it a 1 0 game. And then Felix Caron, just moments after that, puts West Kelowna ahead 2 0 on an outstanding effort by the Warrior forward. 31st goal of the year for Felix Caron who picks up the marker and makes it a two to nothing hockey game on that nice opportunity. Katz again was solid in goal for the Warriors. And then a great opportunity here, Don, for Rorick Appleby. He made a fantastic save on a breakaway and the Warriors came back the other way and made it a three nothing game courtesy of Carter Oakenfold well, on the power play. Well, now at the end of the game, we can say that was really a turning point. At the time, it, you know, it was like, well, the game was almost over, but when you look at the score now, that was a huge uh, turning point in the game. It certainly was, and a 3-0 Warrior lead at that point, and everything going well for the Warriors at that point of this hockey game, and uh, it came with the Warriors on that goal by Oakenfold, picking up his third, or his second goal of the season, and the Warriors again continuing to press. Cal Hughes going to the goal, and a save made there as Katz continuing the battle, but then the Warriors able to take a 4-0 lead here, Don, and it was Carter Oakenfold to the side of the net, and Trent Wilson puts it home. Yep, and uh, that, was a, that was a really, really nice, uh, uh, basically it was just an open net by the time Carter Oakenfold got the, got the puck, and it was a great passing play, and uh, it was uh, not, nothing a goaltender can do on that one. So it's a 4-0 game at that point. The Kings come back, and... Well, they came back with a lot of pressures. They scored three goals in the hockey game. Yeah, they and it was the Kings that six. scored. Yeah, they just got things going on an opportunity. And it was Christian Merrow who made it a 3-1 hockey or a 4-1 hockey game at that point. So that made it a 4-1 game. Cats coming over and making a great save on Elliot Compton. And then it was Powell River that added to that, and it was Xander Stewart with his first of two on the night. I think they're waiting for us downstairs. Yeah, I think they are. I wish this highlight pack would go a little faster. As the save made there, and uh, Appleby again continuing to be solid before Powell River able to jump on that goal and make it a 4-3 hockey game. But the Warriors were able to conclude this one with a 4-3 victory over the Powell River Kings. All right, we got to head downstairs. We'll do that now. We'll go for the awards. We'll come back and get the awards ceremony going here from Royal LePage Place.